Hey everybody, how's it going? Super Fiend here, and welcome back to Frostpunk, the Fall of Winter Home. Uh, this is on hard difficulty. This is going to be an order playthrough, which means that when we go to sign laws and we go on the purpose, we're going to be going uh, down towards the neighborhood watch and all that kind of stuff. Not towards religion, uh, just because I think that's going to be more fun. Now, if you watched my previous Winter Home playthrough, you know that ultimately it was unsuccessful. And since then, like once I knew it was unsuccessful, I've pretty much had my nose buried in this scenario trying all sorts of different ways to like complete it build orders stuff like that and i think i found one that's going to work pretty good again this is on hard difficulty and i've already just kind of like skipped through uh setting it up in the load screens and all that kind of stuff and i've kind of assigned people to some posts already so just to kind of expedite things here so let me show you what we got going on right now all of our medical posts they are manned by engineers, and I've turned the heaters on in them. We have regular workers in the coal thumpers, the steel works, and then over here at the sawmill. Of course, we have engineers in the workshop. And then for the cookhouses, we have children are working. The public house, oh, excuse me, is assigned with workers. And then the uh, this is the other cookhouse. What else do I do? Uh, gathering posts. Somewhere over here, there's gathering posts. There's two of them. Those are manned by children as well. And I think that's all the major stuff. I've turned the generator on. With the generator on, you can control the steam hubs. There's three steam hubs over here that are all kind of in the work zone. So I've switched the hours to the um, 800 to 1800 for those. And what else can we say? What else can we say? Uh, our very first research, I have found that going in the faster gathering is an excellent choice. It just really expedites clearing all this stuff and freeing up space on the map to be able to build and expand your city for the resources that you need. Uh, one of the other things that we need to do relatively early is we need to reposition our snow pit. We have one over here. We're gonna go ahead and build a new one up here and we'll just go ahead and build a road going down that way. We also do not need fighting arenas. So we're gonna get rid of these two things. And then I would like to have two workshops because I wanna get through the research relatively quickly. So we're gonna build another workshop. Oh, I'm out of wood. Now, when you're out of wood on this map, thankfully, there's a lot of uh, really poorly designed streets that we can start dismantling and salvage a bunch of wood from them. So let's go ahead and just go through here and do some of that. We don't need this one over here. Now, we also, we don't need this stuff. We're getting rid of that fighting arena, so we don't need those streets. This stuff in here is, whoops, clicked on the wrong spot. This stuff in here is kind of a mess. Uh, we don't need this big street right there, and we don't need this one, and we don't need this one. We won't be needing that one either, or this, or this, or this, and then of course, now we can delete these ones. And let's see, how are we looking, how are we looking? Do we need this one right here? No, we don't need this. We don't need that one either. Um, now, you could get rid of some of this stuff in here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to opt to get rid of those. And then uh, we'll just get rid of all that stuff right there. But we'll leave this and then we'll open this up. So that will be open. And we could get rid of some of this stuff in here also. So let's just go ahead and dismantle that. Eventually, we'll be removing these as well. Um, you know, if we're going to remove them eventually, let's just do it now. Okay, very good. And then there's even some stuff back here that we can get rid of, like that little stretch we don't need, uh, at least not immediately. You can get rid of some of this stuff, like we'll get two more wood if we get rid of that right there. And I don't think we'll get any extra wood for getting rid of this one over there. And what else, what else, what else? Okay, so what are we gonna do with all of our wonderful wood? Uh, I was building a street over here for our workshop, so let's go ahead and finish that. Uh, we could, immediately get a scout party I'm thinking about it I'm thinking about it yeah let's get a scout party right away now what I want is I want the engineers that are somewhere over here so let's just go ahead get them going over that way and then we'll go to resources and we're gonna build a gathering post here here we're gonna build one way back here and then we're out of wood. And as we uh, clear some of the uh, the fighting arenas, we're gonna get more wood back. And so that's gonna uh, sort itself out. And no, 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 no. Oh, for crying out loud. Can I just click in the right spot, please? Okay, 
So, and then as we clear out like all this stuff, we can build more gathering posts along this inner ring here where the um, where the generator can reach. And then that gives us like a nice pool way out in the here to get all this wonderful stuff. So we're gonna have lots of resources. And the big resources that we need for day one is uh, really wood. There's a lot of things we need to build that require mostly wood. Uh, however, later on, steel is a big deal. So we're going to go ahead and put some workers in here. Now, this is a very bad spot for them to work because they're going to be very cold. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and get that done right away. Because uh, we, we just we need this steel that's in here. We also want to free up uh, some of this stuff over here. Okay. So we're going to get some uh, people clearing that out. And I think these ones are also a, uh, a pretty good choice. Because later on, what we can do is we can build a bunch of coal thumpers just right here. Really nice coal thumpers. And that should pretty much um, keep us situated for our coal for most of the playthrough, I think. I think. Uh, one final thing. One final thing. Let's get a steam hub. And we're going to place this steam hub along this road right here such that it heats this house and this tent. And we can see that that is that position right there. Now, laws. Book of laws. Uh, sick people are a big problem in this scenario, so we're going to do radical treatment first. After radical treatment, we're going to head down towards overcrowding and care house. Eventually, we want to sign prosthetics, but also, as I said, this is an order playthrough. And where we want to go with order is guard stations, and then over here is the patrol, which gives us a cooldown ability that raises hope. And then after we get the, uh, the medical stuff and that patrol ability situated, we want to go after the foreman, which is going to give us a massive boost to our productivity in some of our buildings. And we're gonna need a lot of food to make that happen. So we're gonna be building lots of hunter's huts and then later hunter's hangars. Uh, all of that said, we're almost ready to start. We just got a few, uh, few buildings in here. Let's assign some children. Now, as much as possible, we want our children to do the gathering and we want the adults to work in all the uh, bigger places that are more dangerous. Now we're building three gathering posts, so we're gonna leave some children free. Uh, no, we're not, forget it. We're just gonna pile them in there. Get in there, you little brats. It's the end of the world, you need to go to work. And we got lots of workers. Okay, so we're gonna get in there on all this stuff. And then uh, these two right up here are in range of a steam hub right off the bat. So let's get some people on those. And then uh, let's just go ahead and throw uh, a handful of people in over here. So everyone except for the engineers are assigned. That's the way I like it. Whoops, zoomed out too far. And here we go. Let's speed it up. Now, as much as possible, we're not going to use the uh, the fastest game speed because uh, I just I don't want things to get away from me. And when you're using the fast game speed, it's really easy for stuff to get away from you. Uh, okay, right away, we could build another gathering post. We're going to plop it down right there, and we're going to give it access to some road. So we're going to need to get some people in this gathering post, and that is so that we can get lots of coal. Uh, our snow pit's going in there. Uh, we also want to build a resource depot on our first day here, if we can. Okay, so right now, we're just keeping an eye on everything being built. Making sure that as soon as it's up, we get people in, which is why I've kind of got it on just the uh, the slow game speed. But I guess we can uh, speed up just a little bit. Okay, next one done is going to be this workshop. Bam, let's get our engineers in there. Okay, and then this one is done. So we can go ahead and just pluck some children out of that building next to it and get them in there. Very good. Uh, we're gonna need to pluck some people out of, uh, uh, no, I don't want workers. Uh, let's grab these children. We're gonna send them up there. When this is done, they're gonna gather coal. Watch out for the black lung. The black lung is coming for you kids. Wah ha ha ha. Uh, how many children do I have available? 10, good, perfect. So we'll put 10 in there. And then we need to get uh, 10 more children free. There we go. And we'll drop them in here as soon as that one is ready. And then now we need to focus on medical posts. Boom. Uh, we're gonna build one there. We'll be able to build another one really fast here. They cost 25 wood. 
Now, with this one up here, we're going to build a sawmill in here later. And that's going to give us access to all this wood. But um, we want to make sure we leave room for that. Yes, of course, we are out of wood. I'm so reckless. Uh, next thing I think I want to build is going to be resource depot. That's a little bit more expensive. We're going to put it right over here. Okay. Come on now. 40 wood. 40 wood. And then we're going to um, set it to coal. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. You can do it. Very good. I'll drop that right there. Needs access to roads. So we'll just build out that way. And then uh, we're going to need another medical post. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and add a steam hub over here. And that's going to give access to this building and one of the ones that's down here. Uh, but not these ones up top. And that, that's okay. Okay, medical post is finished. This medical post is finished as well. And we're going to turn the heater on on that one. We're not going to turn the heater on on this one down here, are we? No, yes, we are. We're going to turn the heater on on all of them. I lied. And then this stuff up here, any of this cleared yet? I don't think it will be. This isn't even built. Yeah, 9, uh, 13. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, this is almost done. Boom, 10 children. Get back here. Clean this up, please. We need this thing clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. Uh, that's Steam Hub. Oh, we got another medical post is ready. Boom, let's get some uh, engineers in there. We can build two more medical posts. Two more. Up. Uh, I like to build a road around that like little tent building and then I put a steam hub on this corner and when you do that it heats up most of the stuff except for these two buildings up there. Somebody has suffered from frostbite I see and that is why later on they want us to go down the care house and the prosthetics is to handle that uh, frostbite stuff. And if you don't do that then someone will commit suicide because they're an amputee and they're um, and they're sad. Okay, help the amputees. Do less harm. Give him what he needs. This engineer won't be able to work. Hope will rise slightly. Okay. So we got one engineer now that can't work. I think we have room for another medical post. Let's go ahead. We're going to build that uh, right here. It's just right in between the two steam hubs, but it does um, uh, leave r perfect room for houses to go all the way around. So that is good. And we need just one more medical post. Yeah, we need one more medical post. Where are we going to put it? Uh, right here where that fighting arena used to be. And so that's going to take care of all that. Now, now, where do we want to go? Uh, is this stuff cleared yet? Because we want to get um, two gathering posts down in here when it is. And we also are going to want a gathering post up here at some point. But not quite yet. Not quite yet. We want to get most of this stuff cleared. Uh, we have four people are sick and 35 being treated and 34 amputees which is not very good. And one of the big kickers in this campaign is getting through the first like couple nights without too many people getting sick. Oh, before I forget, food. Food is also a huge problem in this scenario. So we're going to build some hunter hu hunters huts here, 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 and there. Okay. That is going to be good. And this is done. So we'll turn the heater on. Get someone working in there. This thing is almost done. These guys are waiting to drop off their coal. How are we doing over here? Okay. Faster gathering has been uh, researched. And so now we're going to go into the medical post upgrade. And just get that uh, working. Okay, and then when they uh, when this is done, we'll do that. They'll drop off their coal. They skedaddle, and we'll keep gathering coal. That should be plenty to get us through the evening. All this stuff in here is still not done, and we can get rid of the snow pit. It's got 83 bodies in it. Uh, faster gathering, still runes depleted, and the scouts have reached the weather station. So we, uh, we explore. We find some engineers, and we're going to leave them where they are because if we remove them, from their post, we lose access to the weather updates. Now, I suppose if you've played this and you wrote it down real carefully and you had like a nice little sheet next to you, um, it wouldn't matter, but I'm not gonna go through that much trouble. Okay, so there we go. Everybody's working except for two engineers. A bunch of wood runes were depleted and hope rises slightly because we've cleared some of the runes.
Okay, this is where it starts to get messy. Okay. This is where lots of people get sick. And here comes. Let's heat some homes. So we have to start heating 24 of the cold homes within two days, then keep them heated for two days. Now, that is uh, doable. This other one here, uh, 48 homes, basically all the homes within 24 hours, and then keep them heated for two days. That is much more difficult a task. Um, in order to do that, like we really need to get lots and lots of coal. We'd need to build uh, coal thumpers the very first day. Like like this next day, we'd have to have a bunch of coal thumpers up and running and, and like a lot of coal reserves. And honestly speaking, I don't think we can do it. So we're gonna go with the first one. We're gonna go with the first one because it's just much more um, within our reach. Okay, so we're building four hunters huts and we have 30 people uh, free to work. So we just need to free up uh, a little bit more after that and then let's go ahead let's um oh those are children those are workers yeah that's that's fine i was gonna say we could remove some people over here and get them on these on this building but you know what we'll wait not a problem not a problem so we got uh brrr, secure at least livable conditions in homes so we need to do 22 homes now, these ones that are by the Steam Hub that are... Oh, good grief. Where's the, where's the bunkhouse? This is livable. So if we just do 22 upgrades to a bunkhouse, which costs uh, 12 and 10. So 22 would be 220 steel. And then the wood would be 240. The wood's not a problem. The steel is a little bit more questionable, right? Maybe if we take those people off of there and pile them in over here, where else do we have regular adults gathering? Uh, over here, we could, we could pull some off of that. And we now have a steam hub right here, so we could have them Go extract steel from there. Oh, this is ready. I hope they go out and hunt tonight, but if they don't, it's uh, not the end of the world. Uh, what was that noise? Oh, we could pass a law. Book of laws. Oh. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go into overcrowding. That allows our medical posts to hold 10 patients. And you can see right now we're doing really good, actually. Uh, we're, it's almost midnight. Nobody new has really gotten sick and we got 39 people being treated. So, you know, thumbs up. Good job. Okay. Now I think the way we're going to try to do, uh, the livable conditions is with upgrades. Okay. That's what we're going to try to do. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's speed it up, get through until morning. We have two days to do it also. So we got plenty of time. Oh, people are getting sick. There it is. A ton of people got sick overnight. Darn. Nothing to do here. We'll carry on. We'll go to the steel bridge. We're going to discover an automaton there, and we're going to leave it on duty because further down the further down the map, further down the road, is a steel depot, and we're going to move the outpost team there eventually. But if you don't leave the automaton on the bridge, then you can't use that outpost depot at that location. So there we go. Right? Makes sense. Makes sense to me. Okay, it's five o'clock. Let's get some bunkhouse upgrades going. And we want to focus on things that are around the steam hubs. Okay, so that's all we could do right now. 80 people are now homeless. I hope they don't get sick faster because I did that. Maybe if I put the uh, well, if I put the uh, generator in the overdrive, it's gonna it's gonna heat up all the homes, and then I won't be able to turn the overdrive off without raising the steam level to two. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. That'd be a mistake. Uh, five children are now free to work. Where'd they come from? Where where did they get released from? We're gonna put them over here. And we're going to need more uh, hunter's huts 
built sometime today too. And more adults working in them. Okay, first amputation. Consider signing the care house or prosthetics law. Now, if we don't do this at some point, then the amputee is going to like commit suicide. And then it, it uh, gives us like a big hit to our hope. So we, as much as possible, we want to avoid those kinds of things from happening. Right? Glad you agree. Yeah, there's plenty to do, everybody. You know, don't, don't, don't lollygag. Lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff needs to be done. Uh, pretty soon here, we're going to get told that somebody is stuck in the runes and, you know, we need to rescue them. So we will try to do that. Uh, but for now, let's build more bunkhouses. Lots of bunkhouses. Okay, and then upgrading the bunkhouses is going to help us just overall throughout the throughout the scenario play because then we won't have to raise the uh, the steam hub level quite as much when the temperature drops by two. So uh, if we can just get all of that, like, uh, why can't I? Oh, that's already being upgraded. Very good. Okay, the next two hunters huts are going to go down like right over here. And we are going to want people working in them. Uh, we have 15 workers are free. Ah, here it is. Okay, we're going to get them in there. We have to help the child. And we're going to go ahead and build a gathering post here and here. And so these two gathering posts are really going to help us clear these runes much faster. Uh, although we just have to make sure that we have the children to work in them. And right now we do. But I think we're going to take the three children out of there. And we may borrow three children from somewhere, a couple children from somewhere else. This thing is still taking forever back here. I wish this steam hub was just like a little bit back. We could reposition it. In fact, maybe maybe we should. Uh, people, bunkhouse. Okay, so let's uh, let's get down in here. Let's do. Yeah, that one's good. That's good. Okay, more wood runes are depleted, so we got lots of people are becoming available to work. So let's go ahead and get another gathering post over there. Is this thing almost done? It's taking forever. It's amazing. It seems like we're doing better on the steel than we are on the wood. Oh, we want to build uh, two gathering posts right here for this, uh, for this coal thumper. And then later on, we'll put another coal thumper, like, down here. Okay, that looks good. Uh, you know what? We're going to move this thing. We're going to put it right there. So as soon as that one's built, uh, we'll, we'll set the work hours and we'll dismantle that one. And all this stuff will still get heated from what's over here. So that'll be fine. Uh, let's get the children in here. And in here. Uh, what time is it? It is... Almost 1,400, so we need to go ahead and get those hunter's huts built so that we can get people in them by the time evening rolls around. Uh, well done. Fewer amputations. Been a while since I read that one, so I don't know what it really means, but I, I don't care either. Okay, let's get some children in there. Okay, we got 23 hours of coal, which is great. One more hunter's hut here. And we have 15 free uh, gatherers that are adult workers. Let's put them on this for now. Maybe they'll get that cleaned up before the uh, before the day ends. The scouts have made it. And here's our automaton. We're going to leave it on duty. Again, if we send the automaton to the city, we won't be able to use any outposts that are further down this way. So we're going to leave it on duty. And we're going to go to the iron deposit. Okay. And this this should be like look at this. We're gonna get this cleaned up, I think, before this day is done. Look at that. We're rocking it. We're doing great. Okay, we got one child gravely ill. Uh problem here. Problem here, and the medical post uh, upgrade has been completed. So now where do we want to go? Um food food's a big deal. Okay, we need we need more food. Uh, I'd like to do healthcare insulation because then we could turn all the heaters off in the medical post and we could conserve some coal. But um, if we do that, 
um, it's going to delay the flying hunters. And if we delay the flying hunters by too much, then uh, people will start to starve. So we need we just we need flying hunters. There's no if ands or buts about it. We must do that. Is this thing built yet? When the hell's taking so long? Get back here. Get back there and build it. Okay. And then uh, we can do. Whoops. Uh, when we have 25 wood, we could build one more medical post. One more, because we have two idle engineers, I believe. Yeah, so just one medical post. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to end up removing it, so we'll just put it right there for right now. We'll get rid of it later. And this is almost done. So we can go ahead and throw some of those children in there. Okay, this thing is almost done. Good. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. 30... Look, day ends. It's off time. Okay, so we need to do 10 more homes. 10 more homes. So that's like 100 and something steel and 120 wood. So I think, I think we're going to make it just fine with the home upgrades and we won't need to change our heat levels or anything. Okay. And we got 20 hours of coal. That's more than sufficient to carry us through the evening. All right, so we're doing good. We're doing really good, honestly. Uh, this thing's on, but we're going to go ahead and change the work hours, and then we'll dismantle uh, that one because we're just not going to need it. And then we'll get people in there. Good. And we'll go ahead and get two engineers in there. And so there we go. These people that are sick are now uh, being treated, although I wish they would be treated faster. <laughs> we need to build the care home. Must have the care home. And then we need to clean up some space over here. So let's go ahead. Let's build our, we're, we're just short a little bit of wood. I wanted to build a gathering post right here so that we could get some people in it uh, right when the day starts. Uh -huh. If we, uh, if we destroy some street, that gives us two wood. I think that's enough. Gathering post. We'll put it right there. Excellent. All right, where are we looking? Where are we looking? Uh, let's go ahead. Let's get to morning. Hopefully nobody dies. This is like where, you know, somebody could die. Come on. Come on, my medical posts. Keep up with the man. Uh, let's take, like, one engineer from here. One from there, and then we'll... Uh, Put two in there so now we got four four and four so they'll all be running at like less efficiency um but hopefully not quite as bad honestly i don't know if that makes much of a difference just guessing okay that's down to two let's put uh let's put some children over here so we can get that cleaned up and uh we'll put some children in there too in fact you know let's get rid of the adults let's put the children in We'll find something else for the adults to do. And here we go. Oh my gosh, too many people are sick. Oh, uh, somebody could die. We, we could... Oh, there's one person homeless. Oh, you know what happened? Somebody got released. Somebody got released from a medical post and we don't have sufficient housing for them. Uh, good to know. We've picked up some steel and we can establish an iron... Or I'm sorry, a steel outpost here later. Uh, let's go to the stone ship. Uh, really, I hope nobody dies. Um, seven hours from now is going to get us pretty close to the workday. So we could uh, we could increase the steam level by two, up to two. As soon as we do that, though, this is going to trigger, and then we have to keep it that way for uh, 24 hours. So I don't really want to do that. No, I don't. Mm -mm, not yet. All right, well, let's race the five, and let's just hope nobody... Oh, crap, there's a ton of people that are sick. We need the uh, we need the care house, but we're six hours away. Oh, man. Uh, maybe the care house would have been a better choice and then doing overcrowding uh, third. I get the feeling someone's going to die. Uh, anyways, uh, this is what we're going to do. It's day three. 
we're gonna uh, we're gonna end this one here because this is a good uh, a good stopping point. I think we got a lot done. When we come back in the next one, we must get care house and we must build it before people die. And we need to build like a couple of them in here. And we need to get some coal thumpers set up over in here and maybe move this steam hub like more down this way. Um, although I'm not quite certain. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'd like to get this whole little block set up as uh, coal thumpers. And then uh, we need to continue upgrading houses. Or I'm sorry, continue upgrading to bunk houses so we can get livable. And we have 13 hours. So we have like pretty much today to do that. So... That's what we're going to do when we come back in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I enjoyed it. Uh, leave any comments, suggestions uh, down below if you'd like. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up really helps the channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, if you're not subscribed, consider doing so. Check out some of the other stuff I got on the channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You have a good afternoon. And take care.